so final video review for this week is for A Convenient Deception by W.A. Cooper. If you want to check out my Goodreads review, I have just posted that. Um, so if you're on Facebook or on my blog, there is a link within the post. And if you are on YouTube, there is a link in the description below. And this is a video review. So A Convenient Deception by W.A. Cooper. This was a really cleverly constructed web of deception. Um, it literally said, like did what it said on the tin. Basically it was a book that has deception in the title and has deception in the story. Um, I actually read W.A. Cooper's first book and I really 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 loved it and then she brought out this and she it's part of, a, part of a series so she asked me if I wanted to read it so this is the first book in a series which, which sounds really exciting um, and the book basically is about, I'm hoping I'm going to say this right, Brer and Ariana. I think that's a Scottish name Brer and um, Ariana and so they um, they have one thing in common they're both married and those marriages are on rocky ground um, but it's unbeknown to them that their paths are about to cross and how they're about to cross and how many ways they are about to cross um, so this is what I mean by like there was this massive web in this story just got really tangled full of deception lies betrayal deceit like everything it was amazing um, and so Brer finds inspiration, um, she's an artist and she, she finds some inspiration and follows an opportunity uh, to paint commission portraits of Ariana. So they've, they've already crossed one path and then they've got all these interwoven paths that are going to cross. Um, and they, they learn about one another, um, but as they do learn about one another, it's a case of will they overcome the secrets that start emerging, not only about their own relationships, um, but about each other and um, you know will they find more in each other than they actually expected to because of everything else sort of snowballing um, in the in the story so um, it did it was very very slow burn like it was proper slow burn um, and I don't mind a slow burn. I really actually really like them because it gives you a lot of time to get character depth and character knowledge and understand your characters and learn all about them. So that's one thing W.A. Cooper does really well. She had a lot of character background for you and a lot for you to learn about their lifestyle. Um, and they actually had very separate lives for a long part of this, um, even though their story was interweaving. And that, that was really nice not to just have something too much rushed. Um, so it was a really clever part in it plot and it had me questioning literally everything so every chapter I had a new question and I had to wait to have it answered and that's a good thing with a book because that's what you want to do you don't want to get to the end of the chapter have your question answered then be like oh no well, I don't need to read anymore because I, I know what's going to happen and um, the questions kept building and the answers kept slowly trickling through but there were more questions and there was slow trickle through so you you had to keep reading to find out more and um literally you literally carried to questioned the characters their actions their choices their pasts uh, there was just so much in this story that you had to consider as a reader um, and I really liked that it got me thinking it was something a bit different and it was really different to anything else I've ever read we're talking about two main characters who are married who you know really would fight for their relationships but their relationships aren't great and there's lots going on in the background um, and to have it all interwoven and interlinked was really really clever um, that's that dynamic using two couples and adding twists and turns with every chapter it really drove home how deceitful it all was when it was then put into a bigger perspective you as a reader you're seeing a bigger perspective so you really are seeing and you're thinking oh my god when these characters find out they're going to be devastated this is awful um and so like wow like what a picture to build what a picture to paint um and it gave when the truth did start to surface you know that's when you were like you were shocked as characters even though you kind of sort of maybe got an idea of what was going on you were still shocked for the characters um and it was really intriguing as a story that you know it was gripping packed with drama tension conflict and there were just so many layers of it as well that you just got hooked into it um and it really was the perfect expert web of lies and deceit um it was literally a mix and in point of view as well using the first person narrative um, so you got a bit from Ariana, you got a bit from Brett, and you, you really were getting like two stories in one mixed together and all just given to you like in a fantastic plot. It was like, have you ever seen like one of those ITV dramas and you watch it for like eight weeks and then you get to the conclusion and you're like, oh, right, it makes sense. Yeah, it was a bit like that. 
he had lots going on there was lots of your brain to process and really get into and get you emotionally invested in the story and wanting to be a part of like uh, wish, wishful thinking really wishing and hoping that these two were going to find out the truth and hopefully find more in each other and find some some sort of level of happiness um so i say it was a very slow burn romance but i really did enjoy the build-up and getting to know more with the intricate plot and the characters um obviously because of the slow burn it took some time for the attraction to really surface between the characters so most of their chemistry was based on them being friends and having a working relationship and a friendship and looking out for one another that way so you got to see them both as people and then you got to see all this this well not only did you get to experience them getting to know each other as you got to know them but you also got this nice level of knowing that they really did care because they'd been friends first and so you know it just it added all to the conflict of everything because obviously once you're friends and then you know things about the other and you have to make a decision you know was it going in the end was it going to affect the bigger picture which was were they going to be happy together were they going to get a chance to be so you know i really like that and i think the instant chemistry they did have as friends and uh, sort of working together um was really nice and it established that friendship and, and made it work so well so i really liked that about it as well um so i really enjoyed the story i did um it's something a bit different it really gets you thinking and i i really did enjoy it so i'm looking forward to the next book in the betrayal series um and maybe seeing these characters again um so I'll pop a link in the description so you can go and grab a copy of um, A Convenient Deception by W.A. Cooper. If you've read A Convenient Deception, please let me know. Please let me know what you thought of it. How did you find this story? Um, what was your favourite parts? Um, yeah, just get in touch. And if you haven't read it yet, but it's on your to-read list or you're interested in reading it, um, or you're now thinking, I need to go check that book out, again, let us know because it's always great to hear what you're reading. And if you do read it, I hope you enjoy it. Bye!